Hello, thanks for hopping on. My name is Julianne Condia, and I'm very excited to share with you how I work my business in Power Pockets. These business building activities will grow your business if you do these consistently. I really live behind this, and especially being a mom, this is how I'm able to get my business continuing to move forward while being home with my daughter, Faye. So I'm going to teach you how to find, connect, and invite. And I really believe that this formula is going to set your business up for success. You have to be the one willing to put in that work. Business building, our business builders should be able to answer these three questions before you're starting your power pocket. Who are you inviting? What are you inviting to? And what objections have you been getting? Those three questions should be able to gut check you if you're talking about this business or if you're actually running this business. A lot of people talk about how they want this, but they're not actually doing the work, at least not consistently. But if you're a runner in this business and you're serious about wanting to make impact, you're serious about wanting to give this gift to others, and you're serious about giving your family more choices, these are the three questions that you can answer for yourself. And then also, based on what you can answer, the more you can answer, the more you're going to move your business forward. So if you can only list two people you're inviting, it's going to take a slower time. If you can list out, you see a list of a hundred people, you're setting yourself up for more uh, in this business. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't always time my power pockets, but it's definitely helpful. What I try to do is if I'm not timing it on a timer to see how many I can get uh, all these activities done, I'm also setting numbers. And I'll talk about that in a second. So working on the most important things first is finding people. It's very important to find people. A lot of coaches just post on social media and hope for people to find them. And that's just not the case. If you want to keep your business open, you've got to go find people. Connecting with people, this connection is gonna help you not be as scared to invite people because it's, it's a warmer invite after you've connected with them. And then you're gonna go straight to the invite. I make sure to have my next group or sneak peek sequence on my stories before I start my power pocket because I can start inviting right away and I'll explain that as we get to our inviting section. So right now in our power pocket, we're going to expand our network. This might take a little bit of time for you. This is something I've definitely been very thoughtful about because I'm very specific with who I expand my network to. So what I'm doing to keep my business open is I'm going to different hashtags, maybe locations, brands I really like, bloggers I really like on Instagram, favorite profiles. And then I'm clicking the last post that they made. And then I'm seeing who's commenting on that post. So for example, I'm really into the Enneagram. There's a lot of Enneagram profiles and I'm trying to look for Enneagram threes and eights. So I'm looking for people who are commenting below with that. I really love Sarah Blakely. I love the profile postpartum because I'm on my postpartum journey. There's a lot of motherhood bloggers. There's a lot of people I really adore. Obviously, I'm not doing this to other coaches. I'm not going to their profiles. I'm going to people that have nothing to do with Beachbody. And actually, on my Instagram, I save my private our favorite profiles in the collections tab on Instagram. So I'm not trying to remember who it is that I love. So I'm going to a favorite post. I really like the profile, are you okay campaign? And I'm gonna to go to her last post and I'm going to see who is commenting below. And then I'm gonna actually click their profile and I'm gonna see real fast what their bio says, and then I'm going to see what who their followers are and if how many followers they have, and then just to see if they're a coach. And if they're not, I'm not doing anything other than just following them. And right now my goal is to follow 30 people on Instagram.
I might go to the hashtag boxer owner or seven months postpartum. Those are different interests that I have. Depending on the profile, I could probably follow 30 people from just one post, which is awesome. This one blogger, Enneagram blogger, she already has 800 comments on one post. So that's a lot of people. If they in their profile, I just saw this, it says business owner. I usually don't follow that, follow them. I want someone who, I mean, you could, but I'm not really looking for that. I also try to follow more public profiles. I love if they have between 200 to 800 followers on Instagram because, and then also posts because then I know that they're active and they're not afraid to have a public profile. Like this person is awesome. They have 395 followers. She has a Friends t-shirt on. I freaking love Friends. And she's an Enneagram 8. I'm all about it. This is the first speech body coach I found. So I obviously am not following her, but I have already followed probably more than 30 right now. I'm just going to do a few more. I'm on a roll. This person is perfect. I love that. All right, I need to move on. I did that so fast. I do this every day. I expand my network every single day. I expand my network when I'm on Facebook. I expand my network when I'm on Instagram. This is something that I feel like you can do every single day. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is move on and we're gonna make genuine connections. This prepares us for the invites to be less intimidating. These connections are what is going to build you friendships and fans and people that you really adore. And it's going to be a lot better to invite them because eventually they're gonna come support and see what you're doing. And since they're coming into your space, it's gonna be easier to invite them. Whoops. 
my dogs are so loud when they drink water. Anyway, so right now we're going to go ahead and connect. This is connecting with, I think, anyone in your Instagram feed. Those are the people that you choose to follow. Those are great people to connect with. I love connecting by watching stories and sending messages to people. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to watch stories. I'm going to connect with, and again, usually I set a timer with this or I pick a certain amount of people I'm going to connect with. I'm going to show you a different way I connect, uh, but making genuine connections, I might like five of their posts and genuinely comment on one. I might respond to multiple stories that they have. I, I just do different things to connect. And then also if you found a connection, you found a profile that you really want to work with this person, you can save them in a collections on Instagram just so you don't forget them. So right now let's go ahead and connect. And if I follow someone that I that comes up in my feed or my stories that I just don't jive with like there were just not I just unfollow so let's go ahead and make our connections
as far as how many connections I try to make, I mean, the more the better, right? It depends on the time that I have. So if I, if Faye is going down for a nap and I might do 10 minutes of expanding, 10 minutes of uh, connecting and 10 minutes of inviting or 30 minutes of expanding 30 people or not 30 minutes, um, 30 follows, 30 connections and 30 invites. I might pick a number. It just depends. Right now I'm just trying to go through as many as I can. And I also track what I'm doing and how many, because a lot of times when people are working their businesses, they're not doing what they think they're doing. They're thinking they're doing more than they actually are. So they might think they're expanding to 10 and they're really expanding to seven and that adds up over time, right? So I also try to track everything I do. I don't write down, I don't write down any names and I do not track um, as far as specific names go unless they've said yes to more information, but I do tallies to make sure that I'm expanding my network to as many people as I can. The reason you want to connect and make genuine connections and go out there and find and connect with people is because they'll eventually, not everybody, but eventually will come watch your stories and to your profile. So that's why I make sure I have meaningful con content in my stories. I'm making sure that I have more than fitness and nutrition. I have life. I have Faye. I have Eric. I have Wyatt. I have our adventures. I have practical tips, things like that. So then they'll see, and then I can invite right away. Okay, I just responded to a lot of stories. Now I'm just going to go in my news feed. I don't do this on Facebook just because I am friends with a lot of coaches and can get distracted. But on Instagram, it's mainly people that I want to follow. So what I'm doing is I'm scrolling my newsfeed on Instagram, not Facebook. And then once I see a post I like, I go to their profile and then I'll click five of their posts and comment on a couple. Most likely they'll come back and follow you back or watch your stories. And that's where we're going to invite. Okay, lastly, when you go to your profile and you go click following, click who you're following. You can see, hold on, it's just taking a second to upload. You can see most seen in feed or least interacted with. Do you see that? So I'm going to click those and the least interacted with, I'm either going to go interact with them or I'm going to follow them. And then most seen in feed, I'm going to go interact with them as well. That's other, those are other connections that I make. And then also you can sort, if you click the two arrows that are right here on your following, it's kind of fuzzy. 
on. Not working. Anyway, there's two an up and down arrow. If you click that and then date followed the latest, if you click that, those are the latest people that you found. And so those are the people you can start connecting with right away as well. So that's a best practice that I have. And then once I click that, I'll go interact with them. So the least interacted with, I'll click that and I'll be like, okay, not my jam unfollow, or I'll just try to interact with them more on their posts and things like that. So I can see who I just followed. And then those are other people I can go connect with. Connections are key to building more confidence to leading up to your invite. Connections are what are going to bring people through to your stories. You've got to go find people, but that middle part, the connections, that is how you're going to invite eventually. I do not invite unless they come to my page by either watching my stories, commenting on my posts. Doesn't this make this a lot more simple and easy and just, okay. So if you could front load the finding quality people, not just random, but quality people that have same interests, same seasons, right? You've got to really think I'm a boxer owner. I'm seven months postpartum. Uh, do you like to crochet? Do you like to watercolor? I love the Enneagram. None of, I don't, I don't crochet or watercolor, but right. I like to rock climb. Those are things that I like to do. I'm doing 29029. So I'm finding people who else are doing 29029. Do you like doing specific 5Ks, right? Like just think about what you love and what you like. What kind of show, do you watch The Bachelor? I don't. So if you do, go find bachelor memes and things like that. If you have more of a funny personality, you're going to like people who are posting memes, right? And then you're just being purposeful. I really like profiles that are Sarah Blakely and Jesse Itzler, Lewis Howes, all these people, Ed Milet, that just have a certain mindset. And I really like their content. So who is a smaller blogger on Instagram you really like? Just see who's commenting. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. This is taking a little bit longer than it usually would for me since I try to work really efficiently with having a baby. Um, but I'm just trying to break it down for you. But I have it down. And this is the thing about my power pockets. They don't always happen at 10.30 a.m. They might happen at 6 a.m. They might happen at 9 p.m. But they happen every single day. And like I said, now for this inviting piece, I heavy load on the expanding and connecting, and I'm banking on people coming to my stories. So when I know I'm entering into a power pocket, I need to make sure I have something I'm inviting to or talking about on my stories before I invite. So I'm sprinkling about our team sneak peek. Right now I'm sprinkling what? our happiness code project. So I already have a sequence from yesterday up. And once that 24 hour mark comes, I'm uploading a new sequence about a group or the team. Then I know when I expand my network and people come follow it again, I can invite them. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. So those who watch, follow, comment, and like your posts. Usually when someone likes or comments on Facebook, I'm sending them a direct message on Facebook. And if someone who follows my stories on Instagram is what I'm inviting to, and this is a pro tip, if you are not using Facebook stories, I highly encourage that you do. So I don't post as many stories on Facebook that I do as Instagram, but I post enough. I have my workouts on there. I have an invitation sequence on there. And then I have some kind of life on there. I've been getting a few hundred views on Facebook. Why? Everyone gets a notification when you post on your stories to people that you didn't realize that were getting notified. And those are maybe eight extra invites you can do or 10 extra invites. I make this simple and I go to my saved notes and I copy my invite. So here it is. I'm copying right now because I'm not typing this up. Hey girl, but I actually won't say, Hey girl, I'll say, Hey Amber. Hey Sherry. Hey Danielle. Right. Um, was it, I wasn't sure if you saw, I have open spots for my happiness code project that's starting on March 9th. Would it be okay to send me more information? That is my invite, but I'm doing it based of my story sequence. 
So right now I'm actually going to go to Facebook. And this is the last one I did. I have promo codes left, right? This is the story sequence I'm talking about. I'm even talking about it right here. This is where I'm inviting. So I swipe up. I go through the people and I wean out coaches. And then if I'm unsure, by the way, I've invited coaches before and it's fine. They're either like, Hey, I'm a coach. And I go, that's so awesome. I'm so glad you said yes to this. I never apologize. I'm not like, Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Cause that just makes it more awkward. I'm just like, so awesome. You're doing this too. That is what I say. Okay. And then you're either going to get ghosted or someone's going to say, yes, I would love more information or sure, or thumbs up. I'm not really sure what to do with the thumbs up people, but right. Like you're going to either get ghosted or not. And it's not a big deal because you're the one has bigger vision and whatever. So right now I'm going to Facebook. This girl has been watching my stories and I've invited her a hundred times to things and I'm about to do it again. I just want all of you to know this because why is she not blocked me yet? I try to go see who their mutual friends are too, just because for extra whatever, but anyway. I try to get at least 10 in, five to 10, no matter what. Zero will never move your business forward. A hundred a day is exhausting. Just don't do zero and don't exhaust yourself, right? And burn yourself out. Do something. Okay, this is a new person who's watched my Facebook stories. So I just go, hey, Steph. I wasn't sure. And it's already done. She's either going to say no, ghost, or say yes. I'm not worried about it because I have bigger dreams, right? And I also check too, if we've already had a, any interactions on messenger before, before I send it directly, just because I just want to make sure. Done. This is going to be the second invite I've sent to this person without any responses, but she's still watching my stories. She's either going to unfriend me, say yes, or not respond. Just sent another one. And this is all just from Facebook stories. And then as soon as someone wants more information, 
I told you all um, on our team page, and I'll post it here too. All I say back is, let me get it. I have it saved. Always have it saved so I don't have to think about it. I try to make a third party tool so I don't have to spend a lot of time thinking about what to say. So awesome. I'm so excited you want to check it out. I seriously can't express how much this journey and support has changed the game for me. Here's a video for you to watch about our happiness code project. So if you're inviting to a webinar, hey, I don't know if you saw, but my team is hosting a sneak peek to our team. I would love for you to check it out. Would it be okay to send you more information? Typically when we're doing a coach sneak peek, I create a graphic with how they can join on the Zoom, what time the Zoom is at, and then a little bit about it. And then I just send them that. If the webinar has already happened, the sneak peek has already happened, Hey Sherry, I don't know if you saw, but my team hosted a team webinar. I would really love for you to check it out. This, this team has seriously made my life more full. Would it be okay to send more information to you? If they say yes, then send them, them the recording. Then you track, once they say yes, that is who you track, right? So why? So you can follow up with them. But that third party tool, has saved me a lot of time. All right, now I'm moving to Instagram. And I invite based off of the story that I'm talking about it. So I'm like, hey, I don't know if you saw. Clearly they did because they're watching, but I still say that. Amber, as far as connecting goes, because I follow the, the latest people, since I'm always expanding my network, I'm also not just connecting in stories. I'm connecting with the latest people that I've followed. Or you can save them in collections, right? So then you're not just connecting with the same people. However, I think connecting with the same people is great. But the more you connect with, the better, right? Awesome. I love that you're saving those to use. And obviously you personalize it, right? Like, hey, you know, today has been crazy. Like, Faye didn't nap today. I'm so glad we could connect, right? Like, add in some life when you're talking to them and your own experience for sure. The more that they say yes and want more information and after they watch the video. So on Instagram, I see who they're following. If they are following other coaches and it should show up right away, I do not invite them. Once you invite from your stories, go to last post that you've made on Facebook or Instagram, and you can send messages from there. You could say, hey, thank you so much for liking my post about motherhood. I really appreciate it. I don't know if you saw, but I'm hosting a happiness code project where we work on fitness, nutrition, and confidence. Would it be okay to send you more information? Like just do it, right? The more that you invite, the more momentum your business is going to have. 
it may feel like a lot of people are saying no or ghosting, but wouldn't you say that taking that action is getting you closer to your dreams than not taking the action? When you don't do it, it's guaranteeing zero movement in your business. But the more that you do, the more you'll experience how to get better at conversations, connecting and being genuine. And then also eventually someone is going to realize the gift that you're giving them and that you're presenting them with. You just have got to have more conversations. All right. Thanks for joining in on this Power Pocket.